Oh, I want to get yeah, the rainbow I too. I wish we can get this rainbow. Um, oh, that's really nice. Yeah, it's okay. But I don't know whether this video can actually um, capture the rainbow. But anyway, oh, but I think the rainbow is coming in right there. Perfect. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay, so say hello with our feet. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> hello. How are you, everybody? Today, what we're going to do? We actually just finished our one side, but uh, we're going to do the one side so that this video won't be too long um, to give you guys um, a better relaxation for your toe muscles, your foot muscles, and your sole, and your atlas tendon. Um, it's very important to um, release and um, the muscles so that your toe functions actually. Um, better whenever you walk and you really have to put a lot of um, power onto a big toe. Sometimes when the muscles get really shortened down right underneath and this actually creates later on going into the bunion. <laughs> you see a lot of people actually bring their big toes going into the one side, right? So let's try to prevent that and also this will be able to um, help you to really you know, relax your, your body at the same time help it to uh, improve your blood circulation, limb circulation, as well as we can strengthen your entire toe joint and your soles and your ankle uh, flexibilities and mobility. How about that? Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So this is for you, Mary. Oops. And yeah, so this um, bowl, um, I'll uh, put a little uh, link under my comment uh, section so you'll be able to buy this. It's very Soft, you know, it's very nice. So we're gonna start from the big toe. You see, can you guys see? Alright, so yeah. We're gonna start from the big toe. So let's try to do. Oh, I have a rainbow here. You get the rainbow? Yeah. Okay. I get the rainbow right there. <laughs> okay, so we have a little rainbow down here, right here. So yeah, it's really nice. Okay, so let's try to do this. So we're gonna start from big toes right here right above your nail and uh, your toenail so we're going to use your bowl starting from the center and press it really hard and up and down very good very nice it's it's okay to press it really hard it's totally fine yeah totally fine and we're going to do it about and also make sure to come all the way up here. Follow with this line. And very good. How you feel? Good. Yeah. And let's move it on to the second toe. Okay. Imagine that you really stretch the toes. Stretch them out. Stretch them out. Stretch them out. Okay. Especially this area, make sure to actually press a little harder to release any tight um muscle or ligament really really hard yeah very nice and then we're gonna do the third one right here okay oh Melis I have a rainbow coming in right here do you want to come a little closer yeah the mommy you see the rainbow <laughs> all right so third one it's really nice okay and then we're gonna do the fourth toe Make sure that you really massage on top of your foot over this ball as much as possible. Very nice, your entire area. And then moving on to the fourth. Stretch them out, stretch them out. Yeah. They're about like a 33 joint, you know, in um, each foot. So you really have to make them nice and soft and have them uh, move it you know, nicely and then moving on to the second pinky you know, I mean the, your last one the pinky toe pinky toe all right very nice how you feeling Melissa are you okay yeah good very nice right here too the pinky toe pinky toe okay very good now let's go into right here so there's a little um, area where you know you can feel 
in this little concave area. So we're gonna go right here. So ankle, the front of the ankle. Okay, very good, excellent. Now, perfect. Now we're gonna actually do this. We're gonna put your feet like this. Uh, there, there's uh, and the bones, your ankles, right around it. We're gonna go like a little half circle motion. Right here, and then your heel is right there. Very good, excellent. And then this Achilles tendon right here, right there. I'm gonna go up and down motion. And also the heel right here. Very good. So right here, circle. Very nice. The heel, excellent. All right, right there we did right under this area, circle, and the heel. <laughs> right here. And then. We're gonna go the big toe right here. So there's the bones. And right here, so right in between, right there. Yeah, right here. So, yeah, this one is really, really hard. So, up and down like this. It's totally fine because this is such a, you know, soft ball. You can go up and down all the way up here, this area, all the way, all the way. Press it really hard. Oops. Press it very hard. Okay. Bring some water, honey, so you can drink. Yeah. You feel good? Yeah. So, yes, bring your feet right down here so you can actually show them. So, right from here, right there. So because if there's um, there's some muscles right here, so I'm going to make this one really nice and relaxed. Yeah, this is how much you're actually going to put the pressure on it. And then also right here, this is you feel the difference? Yes. Yeah. So oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So doing this way, also this the big uh, the toe muscle has to work really well so this the big toe has to function or whatever it has to function otherwise you're gonna compensate other muscle to walk you know walk so it's really important to do that. Now I feel hot. Yeah so <laughs> yeah so now you feel hot so that yeah. means that the blood is basically circulating so that's yeah, good. So whoever yeah so whoever watching this right now and um, are you watching this now? <laughs> Follow this and uh, if you feel there's a little um, hot sensation, it's totally fine, it's okay. So your blood is basically circulating, that's totally okay. Alright, so we're gonna keep going up and down. And also each um, each toe, the distance from you know your big toes and down, uh, it shouldn't be really clasped down this way. Sometimes you know, people actually have a really small gap because people normally wear really tight shoes so their toe has no room to spread them out so make sure to open them up okay so let's try to do this open you can do them like this so yeah you can totally do that if your hands tired you can do that as well so we're gonna do this very good and love your toes we did the front side so we have to do the you know the bottom sides and really trying to make them uh, yeah, straight as much as possible. So when you do this, you'll be able to actually see the vein is slowly popping out. So yeah, yeah. See, I can see, I can see that the vein is popping out. That's really good. That's really fantastic. You did really well. So we did that, and that's pretty good. So let's do the other side. So what we're going to do? Um, let's try to do you know the ankle right below. We're gonna do that, and then the Achilles tendon right here. 
Maybe I just go this way. So, no, it's okay. I think. Yeah, so you, you can show. You can, yeah, right here. So I'll just do it for her. Yeah. There we go. Are you okay, Mia? Right there. Yeah, outside. If anybody who has a shoulder issue, let's target right here. Heart. Heart. So this is like a self massage, you know. It's very similar to reflexology, and you can do it at home. All right, very nice. Okay, so we already did the other okay. side, but anyway, so let, let's 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 test them out. Okay, so we're gonna go a little bit to the back. Um, okay, so what we're going to do? Flex your feet, point your toe, point good. Flex your feet, <laughs> point your toe. But we already did this one, so and you don't have a nail. I mean, it feels already good, right? This one feels good. This one's better now. Yeah, so now this one's yeah better. Just good. And then now let's try to do this. Now what we're going to do? We're gonna uh, really open the toe, big. Open one, two, three, four, five, and relax. And spread spread your toe. Spread your toe. One, two, three, four, five. And let me see. <laughs> and we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Oh, nice. And last one. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now, flex your feet. Now we're going to curl your bit. Curl. Curl. One, two, three, four, one. And curl. One, two, three, four, one. And Curl, two, three, four, one. And curl, two, three, four, one. And one more time. One, two, three, four, one. Good job. So it's very, very important that we really have to um, spread your toe very good. Like, spread your toe, spread your toe. And you'll be able to do this. So um, I'll maybe I'll be just doing here. So when you curl up your toe, you have to do this really well, guys. You have to do this so that you'll be able to have. Uh, maybe I should do this so that you'll be able to strengthen the muscles right below and stretch. And one, two. It's very important. Two. Very good. So very nice. I'm gonna um let me see maybe I can here. Can you do that? Curl up your toe, curl one, stretch, and curl up your toe, stretch. Good, and curl up your toe, stretch. One more time, curl up your toe, stretch, and curl up your toe, stretch. One more time. Curl up your toe, stretch. Perfect, excellent, good job. How are you feeling? Good. Feel better. So I'm sure that when you walk, um, you feel much better. So when you walk, guys, walk, 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 walk. Trying to use your toes. Okay, so trying to use all five toes. So mommy, so you have to, yeah, when you walk, really use, you have to wear the, the big toe, have to grab it. So it's like whenever you play piano, you have, you're using all five toes, right? Um, we have to give a same freedom to our, you know, our feet, don't you think? Our hands are always free, but our feet always stuck inside the shoes and they don't breathe and they have no air, they always become a little sticky and like sweaty. So we always wash our hands. We don't wash our feet as often as what you know, we do to our hands. Don't you think that we should give a little more freedom to our feet? Then your feet basically won't be able to deform because as you get older, you wear certain type of shoes, especially tight shoes. 
therefore your toes slowly becoming like you know what you're wearing especially um let's see when you're growing up you know you might gonna to wear heels when you wear heels you're gonna use your heels and the balls and to stand and your toes your five toes quite not in the function so you might actually create a like claw toes or hammer toes so that your toes gonna be looking like like very kind of little you know set like this like this but anyway so open toes as much as possible so when you walk we're gonna really really do this one two one two okay so the exercise this one is very important right and if you want you can use the ball to grab the ball grab the ball and go try this one here yeah 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 yeah, yeah. can you grab the balls really hard and let go okay so grab the, grab the ball and then squeeze the ball squeeze the ball as if you're using the hands grab and let go so Melis, when you studying you can put the balls underneath of your desk and just yeah exactly do that for both both feet so they can relax nice <laughs> okay keep doing it keep doing it keep doing it you have to do the other side too all right yeah good so that your feet actually exercise you know by playing very nice Melis. very nice excellent <laughs> all right okay so now let's would you like to stand up and we're gonna do a little stretch very good so now open your feet keep it apart So, if anybody who can do this, you can have a little uh, chair in front of you. You can hold onto the chair and do it. Now we're going to go all the way up and down. Gate makes me so much better. Okay, so let's try to. Huh? 